guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, it's Heather. What, what? I'm gonna take this off, I don't need my Bluetooth. Um, so many of you have asked me to do a video, which I've been behind on, and I have to redo my soft reline a long time ago. So we're doing it right now. But this video is based on how to take out denture fit off your denture. Normally, mine's coming up pretty well, so it's probably just gonna peel off, but not all of it. Denture fit, when you get denture fit, gives you the Unizop. You can actually buy more if you need more um, off Amazon. So you can buy actually a box if you need to. Some people tell me they have a problem taking out denture fit. So I've never really taken out denture fit. That was hard. Normally I just pulled it out and it was done. But this one looks like it's going to be a little of a challenge um, just by the way it looks. So, um, oh, before I get started, guys, if you like my videos, you like my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button um, and also hit the little bell button and hit all. So you get all my notifications, you know, you're involved in my giveaways. I do have a giveaway going on, um, which ends Wednesday at 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. So please, which would be today, basically, is when this video is coming out. Um, so please make sure you get in on it. It's a Dr. B giveaway, um, just so you guys are aware. But keep tuned with it, guys. I also have a members-only group for YouTube. Um, it's like a couple of dollars a month. You get my private content. I mean, my personal shit, my vlogging, my stuff like that. Um, some people did ask me to do more vlogging again on my YouTube page. People didn't really care, so I didn't put it out there, but now some people are saying they want it back. So I'll probably do one every so often, but it's mainly up on my um, members only. And that is where it says subscribe, it'll say join. Just click join, pick what you want to do, and you're in. But let's get started, guys, because I'm curious on how this is gonna peel out. I also brought tweezers with me because tweezers are life. Tweezers are life, and I'm gonna see if this pulls out. This video might take a minute. I'm not gonna lie. See, as you, I'm gonna show you guys up close. As you guys can see, it's lifting. I mean, I was supposed to have done this. I'm in my permanent dentures. If this was my immediate denture, I would have to do a soft reline every month because of the gum shrinkage. Um, but when you're in your permanent stage, your gums don't shrink as fast anymore. Your gums still shrink. Some people say it stops shrinking. It doesn't ever stop shrinking, guys. It's just not as hardcore. It's like slowly over time. See, this is just peeling right out. See? Peels right out. Um, but I'm still going to use that stuff that they gave me because I know there's some spots that aren't going to come out. But tweezers are easier because you can get into cracking crevices. I have a very deep palate, um, which is great for suction. I mean, denture fit is life, guys. Listen, if you guys haven't tried denture fit yet and you're just watching my videos because... I know a lot of you guys just like to watch my videos because I'm a little crazy. I mean, I am. I'm not, I'm not going to hate you on that because I am. But at least I make it fun. But um, try denture fit. Like I told you guys before, it literally feels like a, my gums. I don't feel my denture in my mouth. And when you're a denture wearer, it's an incredible feeling, you know? It is. And I know some of you are going to ask me about my bottom. Um, I have a partial, but... That is a long story in itself. We're going to do freaking story time again because what's been happening is bullshit. Pretty pissed off at Medicaid what happened because instead of just doing a um, root canal on the one tooth I couldn't do because of COVID shut down and I had one cavity, all they had to do was fill the cavity, but my dentist kept shutting it down um, because of COVID. So they were like, you know what? You only have eight teeth bottom left. Just take them all out and do a bottom denture. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm going to be 35 and that's what you don't give a crap. You just, cool. Great. I'm so glad that you don't care. But if it was them, you know, damn well, they would care. Um, Because we need our teeth as much as we can. And my bottom teeth are basically healthy. And they're ripping out healthy teeth. And that annoys me because I can't pay for the root canal on my own. Root canals are expensive. And sadly, a denture is cheaper than a damn root canal. Which, why is that? I don't know. But it is. Okay, so instead of me going through this freaking damn hassle of trying to see. Oh, I'm legally blind, guys. So you guys will be like, Heather, why can't you grab it? Because I'm legally blind. I can't see crap. Don't judge me. So I'm just taking this Unizol and I'm just going over the acrylic. I'm going all of it, going in, around, everything. I'm going to have it loosen up, do a dissolving thing, get all over. And then we're going to redo, I'm going to do a separate video on how to redo your denture fit. Which I've done a video before, but we're just going to redo it. Some people want an updated video, even though that was only a few months old. Um, but you guys know me. I take you guys on step to steps what I do. I'm trying to see. You know, sometimes I wish my light was brighter. All right. 
So James, one of my um Advent followers, told me he was having a problem taking out Dench Van. I believe that, right? Right, James? I think you said that to me. Um, and he wanted me to do a video on how to take out denture fit. I've never in my life had a problem taking out denture fit till today. Um, which I kind of sort of knew that was going to happen. Um, because it's been a while. And I did so well. It was so stuck in there. It's actually lifting pretty well. It's just I can't grab it from my tweezers. And I don't know if you guys know, I have a bunch, a bunch of autoimmune diseases. And my fingers swell. So I can't really grip on things. But make sure you don't break your denture. So always hold it like this and this. Don't put pressure. Um, because I don't want you breaking your denture. See, it's lifting. See? It's coming out. I'll make sure you guys see it on the angle. And I just rip it out. And I take this and I make sure it's all out except for this spot right here. So it's actually quite easy. And that Unidol shit works great. It helps loosen it up. When you only have a thin, thin coat of denture fit or any soft reline, guys, I'm going to be real with you. Um, it's going to be a minute. And honestly, the hardest soft reline I've ever done taking it out was reline it. It took me, I'm not playing with you all. It took me freaking literally two days to take out it. And I still didn't get all of that. And I just put shit over it because I was so pissed off at that point. I actually did that video and I had you guys go through with the process with me, but obviously not for 24 hours, um, or two days. So I just showed you guys bits and pieces of my hell. Like this, I'm trying to grip, and my fingers are so chonky because they're swelling right now. I'm allergic to the sun and heat, um, small fiber neuropathy, along with scleroderma, lupus, and a bunch of other shit. So, like, it's loose, but I'm trying to grip it with my fingers, and the tweezers are ripping it instead of pulling it with me, which is quite annoying. Tweezers, can you just work with me? Do your job, bro. I'm trying to... I wish I had tiny fingers. Somebody with tiny fingers come to my house. I can borrow you. See how it just rips off? Once I get a grip on it, it comes out easily. I just have a little bit of the palette to do what's actually coming off right now. And it'll be done. So it's actually quite easy, guys, as long as you don't have my health problems, um, to take out Dutch Fit. Way fucking easier. Normally, it um comes out with no problem. But because it's been so long. So, I mean, I went... a way past the time I was supposed to um because I've had a lot going on guys like a lot and you guys know me I know I have over 500 freaking videos out and I've only been out for a year doing YouTube so I always do videos but lately I've been just going through some shit um like everybody does in life and I just had a lot going on and I'm the type of person that I don't like to do videos unless I'm in the state of mind to do it I'm not fake I can't be that's just not who I am and I can't fake happiness. I can't fake all that. So I like to do it when I'm in the mood. And today was a good mood to do this. Now, just remember, guys, when you're done ripping this out and before you start your new denture fit reline, please, for the love of God, wash your denture. Scrub the crap out of it. Clean it well because that's the only way any reline is going to grip and do all that. It needs to be clean. So please make sure you guys are cleaning your denture, please, because it does matter. And you need to do that. If you guys could tell, my fingers keep swelling. But tweezers are a godsend for people like me. Because it helps you grip. But my hands also shake because of my neuropathy. So if you're like me and you got a lot of health problems, follow along. I'm here for you. Um, even if people that, you know, you're normal. And everything works out for you easily. Tweezers help everything, guys. That's the one thing you guys got to learn. Like, it's mainly off right now. I'm just picking off little bits. Somebody said that to me, too. Somebody was like, Heather, it's the little bits I can't get off. I have so much Unizol that I'm just going to keep rubbing it and lubricating it and make sure my denture is completely clean. I always make sure all this comes off because when you do your soft rewind, have a little hangover. Um, I'm also going to do my own adjustment, too, while I'm at it. Just saying. I don't have any warranty on my denture, guys. Everything I do, I do myself. Everything. I do my own adjustments. I this, First of all, I can get free adjustments from my dentist. It's hard to get into him right now because he keeps shutting down because of COVID. Now that he's back on, he's still packed and busy. But um, I do my own adjustments. I use a simple nail file like the old school Emery boys that are brown. I use those. They have the best sharpness to it. Um, you can even use sandpaper, guys. It's the same thing. Emery boys are sandpaper. 
I don't use a Dremel because even the best people at it can easily crack and break it. Too much pressure, too much force, or too much vibration can do it. And I'd rather not do that. So I teach you guys how to do it a simpler way so you don't risk your denture. Because a lot of us don't have money like that that we could just keep getting dentures. You know, I don't have the money for that. So it's best to not. So I'm basically done. I have that one spot that's already loose. Come up easy. Yeah, that Unisolve stuff works great. It really does. And I know it only comes in two packets. So for all of you out there that do have a problem, order more on Amazon. Um, I mean, I only need the two. But some people have more of a problem. You know, we're all freaking different on how we take shit off. Which is why I do videos. Tweezers, guys. Tweezers are life goals. Because a lot of people are like, how do I get into the small spots? Tweezers and Q-tips. Um, and by the way, guys, when you use the um, trick that I teach you guys on adhesive with the Q-tip trick, what I do is I put the Q-tip in my mouth first and I just give it a quick lick and circle it in my mouth. Then I put my adhesive on so the adhesive doesn't stick to the cotton. So, for all the people out there wondering, that's what I do. It's just a little bit I'm getting off right now. And I'm trying not to drop my denture, as you guys just saw. Okay. It's all cleaned, taken off. This is my permanent denture. Heather, please do not drop it. And we're going to do a soft reline next. But this is this video. So hopefully this guy's it helped you on how to do it and tricks with the with the tweezer and how to go about it. But I love you guys. Have a great day. God bless. So stay safe. Later.